Welcome back. Today's video is special as I'm making my own version of a charcuterie board. Charcuterie boards are traditionally for cheese, deli meats and fruits. I've adapted this idea to make a graze board of traditional Asian snacks. I'm making a Ramadan special one today, but you can adapt this for any celebration. The end result is an instant showstopper and your guests will be impressed by your creativity and there will be something for everyone. This might look complicated but it's really very simple to make. It's down to the preparation and then simply putting everything together. Firstly, I would recommend washing and drying all the fruit and vegetables. I also cook the snacks such as the smosa, spring rolls, fish cakes and bagoras beforehand and I prepare the chickpea jarred and finely chopped salad in advance. I also have a few tips to share. I would suggest that you build this board where you're going to serve it as it's a lot more difficult to move once it's prepared. You can use a platter, tray, chopping board or you can make a large spread on a table. I'm making mine on a lazy season board today. It's also best to wear gloves as you'll be constantly touching the food. There's no right or wrong way of assembling the board. I simply started off by putting the bowls of jarred and salad on it as these were the biggest items and so they are a lot more difficult to fit in later. Group foods that go well together closely. So near the jarred I placed the gaul guppy and imli chutney. On the same side I put the samosas, do check out my street style samosa recipe. I would also keep foods in small portions that can be eaten without needing to pull them apart. These baby carrots and cucumber slices are great for dipping into a pot of hummus, as are pieces of pita bread which I've drizzled with some olive oil and baked in the oven for a few minutes. The vibrant colour of the carrots contrasts this well too. Next I'm placing some tuna fish cakes coated in breadcrumbs. Again to contrast colours, put a row of sliced radishes next to these. Variety is also the key. On the other side, contrast the samosas with slices of bright yellow peppers. The cooked snacks are brown, so it's very important to have a colourful fruit or vegetable next to these. Next I place some spring rolls. Do check out my video for the filling. This time I made these with phyllo pastry. Now for the salami. I personally recommend changing your gloves to avoid transferring the taste to the other fruit and vegetables. Fold this into quarters and place wherever you like. Next I place the cheese. Normally you would have three to five different types of cheese on a charcuterie board. I chose Edam, Baneer and Mozzarella. I use Baneer which is a soft cheese in the pagoras. Have a look at my pagora recipe for the batter. I mix cubes of Baneer, spinach, parboiled potato cubes and thinly sliced onions in these pagoras. A bowl of mint and green chilli chutney is perfect next to these. Small bunches of grapes, kiwi fruit and figs add colour and texture. Fresh herbs also look nice. I've added a sprig of rosemary for decoration. Next I made some skewers of turkey rashes, cherry tomatoes, mozzarella pearls and black olives for a contrasting colour. As I mentioned, there isn't a right or wrong way of making this grace board, so you can rearrange items to fill gaps such as using contrasting coloured berries. I've made a sweet corner where I'm placing sliced oranges, mangoes and strawberries. You can cut the fruit in eye-catching ways. Next, of course, a Ramadan-themed board would be incomplete without dates. I've also added some homemade Ramadan stamped cookies. Adding jalebi, a vibrant coloured sweet soaked in a sugar syrup, really brightens up this corner. These stunning graze boards are truly a feast for the eyes. They're great to bring everyone together to chat around. You can also use these ideas to make a graze box for your loved ones. I also added a pink tea bomb to mine and then for decoration I tied a sprig of rosemary to the outside with some twine and I finished this off with a Ramadan Mubarak sticker. I really hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to make your own board or box. Take care and see you in my next video.